Today, we get to take on one of our hated rivals, the number four ranked Georgia Bulldogs. Welcome back to season five of my South City Triceratops Walk on Dynasty. And like I said, today we get to travel to Athens and take on the seven and one Bulldogs. Now, Georgia is obviously going to be a decent favorite in this game because right now you can see the top of their team, a 95 overall running back in Trey Bell with 95 speed. And under his belt, he does have one Heisman Trophy, a 92 overall center, 291 overall corners, a 91 overall outside linebacker, and their quarterback is a 90 overall in Alfred Francis. We no longer have to deal with Bubba Milosevic. If you've been watching this series for a while, you know Milosevic was a problem for us to deal with, but we did manage to defeat Georgia last season, but so far the only team to beat them this year was LSU. We are coming off of a 49-32 victory over Notre Dame where we got three touchdowns from our special teams. Let's hope today the defense can finally step up, but it's going to be a tough, tough task. And it looks like we get some decent weather today and South City will get the ball first. Tyler Anderson back to return. He will field this at the goal line. We will attempt to bring it up and try to cut back to the outside and get shoved out near the 25 yard line. Now out comes the high powered South City offense. We are number one in the country in points per game, but now let's see if we can do anything against Georgia. On first and 10, it will be a read option. Hand off to Overrocker up the middle, and he will start today with a first down run for a gain of 13 yards. We are obviously going to need a big day from our quarterback, Keith Hayes, and our star running back. But on first and 10, we'll drop back. A quick throw will be deflected away from Adam Watkins. We come back in shotgun for the very next play. Hayes will once again drop back to pass. Another throw out to Watkins to the outside. He'll make that man miss. Now Adam Watkins down the sideline and only on the third play of the game, South City will find the end zone from 63 yards out. We take a very quick 7-0 lead. The Bulldogs will get their first drive of their own 31-yard line, and I am not going to lie, I am a little bit scared of their running back, especially with the way our defense has played this year. They'll start by giving it to Stray Bell to the outside, and he'll start today with an 8-yard carry. Well, now there's a chance I don't need to be afraid of that running back because he apparently got injured on the first play. So now on second and two, they'll give it to Harris, who goes to the outside. He gets the first down. Stiff arms. One man will be brought down in SCU territory for a 14-yard run. Now they will come out under center. With Harris still lined up at running back, it will be a draw play to Harris, who breaks a tackle but won't get away from Kellen Rice. That's a loss of three. Now a second and 13. He lines up in shotgun again. Francis will take the snap, hand up to Harris, who goes to the outside, and he will get met and brought down by Greer for just a five-yard carry, setting up a third and seven. So will we get Georgia off the field? From the SCU 45-yard line, Francis will drop back to pass. First, first throw of the day going downfield, he finds Washington, who is brought down at about the 15-yard line for a 31-yard play. So the answer to the question, will we get them off the field, is a resounding absolutely not. Now first and ten. In an eye formation, it's going to be an option to the outside. He tosses it to Harris, who has blockers out in front of him. Harris to the outside will walk into the end zone completely untouched, and Georgia ties this game up at seven. A touchback on the kickoff would start us at the 25-yard line, but a quick injury update. Trey Bell has a mild concussion and will be out the rest of the day for Georgia, so they will not have the best player on their roster. But on first and ten, we will give it to one of the best players on our roster in Jack Overrocker, and he will get a gain of about four yards to start the drive. Now we come out in shotgun again. We will send Matt Stevens in motion. Hayes will take the snap and fake it to Stevens. Now fire this one over the middle, caught by Donald Johnson for the first down. That's a 19-yard gain. On the next play, we come out with both Tyler Anderson and Jack Overrocker in the backfield. Hayes will take the snap. It's an option to the outside. He gets some good blocks and now cuts back in and will get brought down for a seven-yard run. Now on second and three, our fullback will come out in the backfield. We'll take the snap, hand this one to Overrocker. He has to run through one man, but won't get much on the play. They do give him a couple yards to set up a third and two. We come out in pistol on the third down. We'll take the snap. We hand it to Overrocker, who goes up the middle, but won't have the first. It's a fourth and inches. But probably not a shock to anybody here. We are going to go for it. Out of shotgun. It will be a read option right to Overrocker up the middle for the eight-yard gain and the easy first down. On the next play, Tyler Anderson has checked into the game. From shotgun, we will give it to Anderson. The blocking doesn't hold up, and he is hit in the backfield for a loss of four. That sets up a second and 14. Overrocker will check back into the game, but Hayes is dropping back to pass, rolling to the outside, and we're finally going to lob this one downfield. That one will be caught by Stevens, but knocked out of his hands. We face a third down. We come out under center for the play. Hayes will drop back to pass again. Now finally fire this one downfield, caught by Tyler Anderson, but that sets up a fourth and three. 
All right, so at first, I really considered kicking a field goal here. It's about a 43-yard attempt, but the problem is the wind is going 11 miles an hour in the opposite direction we want it to, so we are going to call a timeout and go for this one. Had the wind been behind us, I think that would have been an easy choice, but on fourth and three, we come out in shotgun. Hayes will take the snap. Rolling to the outside, Hayes is going to take off himself, get the first down, and a lot more, and Keith Hayes all the way down inside the 10-yard line for a 19-yard run. Now we come out in a wildcat formation. Adam Watkins is lined up at quarterback. We'll take the snap as a counterplay out to Tyler Anderson to the edge, and Anderson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Triceratops. We retake the lead, this time 14-7. Georgia will take over at their own 25-yard line to start their next drive. In an eye formation, Harris is lined up at running back, but Francis will drop back to pass. Under pressure, goes downfield, finds his man. He gets punished, but holds on for a 15-yard play. They will come out under center yet again for the next play from their own 40-yard line now. Francis drops back as a draw point to Harris up the middle who has the first down easily and is finally brought down for a 14-yard gain into SCU territory. Another first and 10 now for the Bulldogs. He lines up under center again but will drop back to pass. It's a quick throw out to Quinn who is wide open on the edge inside the 30 before he is finally brought down for a 24-yard reception. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. They will once again come out under center from about the 23-yard line. Francis will drop back, probably looking for a quick pass. Going over the middle, and that one is intercepted by Ed Edwards. He threw it right to him. He was trying to lob that one over the middle. Never really a great idea for a quarterback. Now first and 10. We'll take the snap. It's an end around to Johnson on the outside, but the blocking doesn't hold up, and that's going to result in no gain. Now a second and 10 with a bunch formation to the right. Hayes will drop back, and we're going to throw this one underneath. That one's caught by Adam Watkins, who cuts up field and makes it a third and one. That should be the final play of the first quarter. So far in today's game, we are 0 of 2 on third downs. Can we finally convert one here? We'll take the snap. It will be an option play. Hayes to the outside, runs into his own blocker, but still turns that into a solid gain and gets brought down for a 13-yard run. Hayes back in, shotgun on first and 10. Overrocker in the backfield. He'll take the snap, run the play action. And now we're going to look to go deep downfield, but he overthrows Matt Stevens, and that really should have been intercepted. I thought if I threw that kind of outside, Stevens would have a chance to run under it. I guess not. But now second and ten out of a five-wide set. A quick throw over the middle will be caught by Tyler Anderson for the first down into Georgia territory. A couple run plays later from Jack Overrocker. It is now a third and three for South City. We come out in a pistol set. Hayes will take the snap and look to pass. We're going to launch this one downfield, but he overthrows Matt Stevens again. But you guys know the drill at this point. We are going to remain aggressive. We'll send Overrocker in motion. Drop back to pass. Hayes is going to take off. He breaks that tackle but does not get the first down. That's a turnover on downs. I thought we could run for it. We broke one tackle. Couldn't get away from the second guy. He will line up under center. Harris is still lined up at running back here. Francis will drop back. He pump fakes downfield. Now looking to go deep downfield possibly but finds a wide open man underneath for the quick and easy first down into Triceratops territory. He will line up under center here. Harris still the running back, but Francis will roll out to the left side under pressure, going downfield, finds his man anyway. That's white hair for an 18-yard play. I feel like we're getting pressure on this quarterback. He's just making some really good throws while under pressure. From the 25-yard line of SCU, he will send his tight end out wide to play slot receiver. Never mind, he's going to bring him back in. Now Francis will drop back to pass again, and he's going to be under pressure, hit as he's throwing, and that one will fall incomplete. Had that play bounced off the lineman long enough for us to intercept it on that diving attempt, that might have been the greatest play I've ever seen. But now it's a second and ten. Hand off to Harris, who goes up the middle. He'll run over two SCU players and get the first down for a 13-yard carry. I think the big thing with this defense this year is tackling has been absolutely awful for the Triceratops, and it continues today. First and ten, sends Washington in motion. Francis will drop back. He throws downfield a diving deflection by Jeremy Greer. Now that leads to a second and ten. He lines up under center with Harris in the back, but it will be a draw play to Harris. He goes up the middle and gets met and brought down for a loss of one, I believe, by Maurice West. That defensive end had a great game against Notre Dame, looking to continue it today. Now Harris goes up the middle on a third and 11 and gets brought down for a five-yard carry, bringing up a fourth and six. And they will just settle for the field goal. So even if they make this, we get to keep our lead. Let's see if he can make a very short try. Taking a while to snap the ball, finally does. The kick is away, and it is good. Following the kick return, we take over at our own 24-yard line. We'll come out with another read option. Hayes will keep himself. Now Hayes cuts back inside. He has the first down, breaking tackles, and will finally get brought down near the 45 for a 23-yard carry. 
That is definitely one way for South City to start this drive. Now Hayes back in shotgun. It'll be another option play to the outside. The blocking holds up. Who breaks that tackle and gets brought down for a 12-yard gain this time, but another first down for South City. A one-yard run from Jack Overrocker on the next play brings up a second and nine for South City. Hayes comes out as the only one in the backfield. He will take the snap. Roll out to the outside. Now fire this one downfield. That one will be caught by Josh Bain through traffic, and he holds on for a 24-yard reception. I won't lie to you guys, that was probably a pretty risky throw. I honestly thought it was going to get intercepted there for a second. But now first and 10 from inside the 20, we give it to Overrocker, and he has no space whatsoever. That's a loss of one. That now sets up a second and 11. Hayes is back in shotgun. Overrocker is in the backfield. He'll take the snap and look to pass downfield. Rolling to the left side. Got to escape the pressure. Breaks the first sack. Can't get away from the next one. That's a loss of eight. That sets up a third and 19 now for the Triceratops. We've let the clock run down just a bit. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by the tight end Avery, and he will not have the first down. Fourth and one. And I don't think this is going to be a very popular decision among the audience here, but we are going to go ahead and settle for a field goal and just take our seven-point lead with a minute to go in the half. I know I'm generally aggressive the entire game, but right there I felt like just taking the points and moving on. Now with one minute to go in the half, it's a seven-point game. Francis will drop back to pass. He's going to lob this one down the sideline, and that will be incomplete. That will bring up a second and ten. Francis lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass again. Standing in the pocket, going over the middle, caught by his man, who's brought down for a seven-yard reception, but he is injured on the play. That sets up a third and three. Francis will quickly take the snap, and now he's going to go through this one downfield. He finds White here, who's brought down by his face mask, but they're not going to call it. I'm fine with that. They do burn their first time out with 32 seconds to go here in the first quarter at the SCU 40-yard line. He lines up under center, taking a while to snap this ball for some reason. Harris is still lined up at running back. Francis will finally take the snap and looks a pass. He's going to lob this one down the sideline. That one will be intercepted by Jeremy Greer at the 15-yard line. A great pick from the freshman. Now we have 26 seconds to try to do something with the ball here. Hayes out of shotgun will drop back to pass. First throw, we're going to the tight end. Caught by Avery, who's brought down to the 35. We'll burn our second timeout. Just trying to get downfield quickly here. First and 10. Hayes will drop back. And we're going to lob this one down the sideline for Johnson, who's in single coverage. But that one's going to get intercepted. And now Georgia will take over right before halftime. I got a little bit too aggressive. But following the interception, Georgia would just take this one to halftime. And now they get the ball first. The kick is sent deep. He will field this one in the end zone. Harris will bring it out across the 20, the 25, and get brought down to set them up at about the 28-yard line. It's a seven-point game here. First and 10. Francis will line up under center. Harris is the running back. They will start with a pass play. He's going to be under pressure and get sacked on the play by Jalen Shelley for a loss of nine. Now a second and 19. From his own 20-yard line in an eye formation, he runs a play action. Going down the sideline to absolutely nobody. They now have a third and 19. A chance to start this half with a three and out for the South City defense. Francis under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play, and I believe it's going to be Jalen Shelley getting credit again. Their quarterback tried to step up into the pocket, and all he stepped into was his guard. Now on fourth and 25, they will punt this one away to Tyler Anderson. Let's see if we can get a solid return. He's going to get to field this in Georgia territory. So we know we get a solid field position. Trips over a man and is brought down for just an eight-yard return. Now South City has another chance to make this a two-score game. On first and 10, we hand off to Overrocker. Up the middle, he unnecessarily spins and gets brought down for a five-yard carry. I did not think that guy was going to pick up the block. Now we come out with all three running backs in the backfield on second down. It will be an option play to the outside. Hayes keeps himself and now will finally pitch this one out to Overrocker, who is inside the 20 before he is finally brought down for a 19-yard carry. Under six minutes to go now in the third quarter from the 15-yard line. It will be an option play again. Hayes will keep himself. And now Keith Hayes is off to the races and is brought down into the end zone. Touchdown, South City will make it 24-10. They would begin this drive at the 25-yard line with a one-yard pass. Now on second down, out of an eye formation. And Jalen Shelley almost had his third sack, but Michael Starks will get the sack this time. That will make it a third and 15 for the Bulldogs from his own 20-yard line. He'll drop back to the pass again. A quick throw caught by his man, who will have the first down outrunning the defense, and they get to take over at about the 45 now. 
That is a massive missed opportunity for the South City defense, but now it's a first and 10, so they have to move on. It's a toss play to the outside, caught by Harris, who cuts back in, has some great blocking, and the first down, finally chased down by Michael Starks for a 20-yard carry. Reminder is this guy averages nine yards a carry on us right now. This is not even their starter or best running back. First and 10, he lines up under center. Francis will take the snap, handoff to Harris, who goes up the middle, and he'll get met and brought down for about an eight or a nine-yard carry, setting up a second and one. Harris will line up under center. And now Trey Bell is back in the game. It said he had a mild concussion, so he wouldn't return. But I guess they've decided just screw the concussion protocol. That's a false start on Georgia anyway. But he really shouldn't be back in the game. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't notice this on their depth chart. Trey Bell is number 31, but Robert Bell is number 33. They're backup running back, so that is not Trey Bell coming back into the game. I guess it's his brother. I don't know if you want to go with that storyline or whatever, but that's their backup running back. A little bit of confusion there, but I think we got it all sorted out now. Second and six, with Robert Bell now lined up at running back. Francis is lined up under center. They'll take the snap, they give it to Bell, who bounces it to the outside, has the first down, and is brought down for a 10-yard carry on his first touch of the day. Now Harris will check back into the game on the next play. From the 24-yard line, they hand it to Harris, and he meets Kellen Rice in the backfield for a loss of two. Now a second and 12. Back in shotgun, Francis will drop back to pass. Going downfield, he finds Whitehair wide open for the first down. He got punished for the hit, but a 19-yard gain. A quick run and an incomplete pass later, and now we have a third and goal. He's back in shotgun. Harris is the running back. From the five-yard line, he's going to send his tight end in motion. Francis will take the snap and looks to pass to the end zone and will find Quinn in the back. A touchdown for Georgia will make this a seven-point game. The kick return sets up South City at their own 27-yard line. Hayes comes out in shotgun. He'll drop back to the pass. And we're going to dump this one off to Overrocker for a short gain to start the drive of about five yards. Now on second and five with both running backs in the backfield. We'll take the snap. It is an option play. And I probably should have kept that one with Overrocker. That sets up a third and four. A massive chance now for Georgia to get the ball back to their offense. Hayes lines up under center. He'll drop back to the pass. A quick throw will be caught by Watkins, who breaks the tackle and is brought down for an eight-yard gain, but more importantly, keeping the drive alive. Now on first and ten with Hayes lined up in shotgun. Overrocker is the running back. We give it to him, but he'll get hit in the backfield because that guy split the double team. Now on a second and 11, Hayes back in a pistol set. We'll take the snap. We'll run the play action. Rolling out to the outside. He has to escape the pressure. Escapes the first guy. Now throws downfield, and that should have been picked. I don't know why Watkins stopped running. I thought he was going to keep running to the right, and then he just stopped in the middle of the field. I don't know if you guys know that. That's not really what you're supposed to do in a scramble drill. But now on third and 11, Hayes back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and a quick throw downfield will be caught by Josh Bain, who holds on through traffic, a gain of 13. They brought that corner on a blitz that time, and we quickly made them pay. Now first and 10, Hayes is lined up under center. We'll run the play action to Overrocker. Now he's going to load up and go deep downfield for Donald Johnson, and he will not hit him. That is a big missed opportunity from quarterback Keith Hayes. It sets up a second and 10. He'll run the play action. Now roll to the outside, and he's going to get sacked on the play for a loss of 11. That will set up a third and 21 now for SCU near the end of the third quarter. Hayes will take the snap and looks a pass. Rolling to the outside, escaping the pressure. Now finally going to throw this one downfield. He finds Donald Johnson, but he can't hold on through the contact. Fourth and 21, and we will punt it away. The punt would take us into the fourth quarter. Now on first and 10, it's a toss to the outside to Harris, who gets a couple nice blocks, has the first down, down the sideline, still going, and finally forced down for a 29-yard carry. Well, that is not really the kind of stuff we can allow here in the fourth quarter up by seven, but we definitely just did. Now Francis lines up under center. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Quinn, who has the first down into South City territory. That's an 11-yard gain. A six-yard run from Harris would set up a second and four on the next play. From the 35-yard line, an eye formation with Bell in the backfield. It will be an option to the outside, but Francis is brought down in the backfield by Michael Starks for a loss of two. That sets up a third and six, and now they have a five wide set. All on in the backfield, Francis will drop back. He goes underneath, that's caught by his man, who will have the first down for an eight-yard play, keeping their drive moving. With six and a half minutes to play now, two running backs in the backfield in a shotgun formation. Francis will drop back, a quick throw, once again caught by the same guy, and he's got a nine-yard gain this time. I have no idea how to say that guy's name, which is why I haven't even attempted today, but now a second and one. From under center, Harris is the running back. Let's see if Francis wants to go right back to him this time. 
He will draw back as a draw play to Harris, who bounces to the outside, and he'll get brought down for a short gain, but has the first. Now under six minutes to go in the game. They come out in an eye formation from about the 18-yard line. With Harris lined up at running back, Francis will once again draw back to pass that way. Quick throw caught by Watkins, and he'll get brought down for a six-yard play to set up a second and four. Now about five and a half minutes to go, and that's going to be a false start on Georgia. That moves it back to be a second and nine. They come out in an eye formation. He'll take the snap, run a play action, and now throws this one through the back of the end zone to set up a third down. One of the biggest third downs of the game so far. Possibly the biggest third down so far. He lines up in shotgun. Francis will drop back to pass, looking to convert through the air. He's going to throw towards the sideline. That's caught by Washington to set up a first and goal. The booth is reviewing this one, but that to me, yeah, in real time even looked like an NFL catch, let alone a college catch. So it sets up a first and goal at the four yard line. Lines up in an eye formation, handoff to Harris, and he will walk into the end zone, and Georgia will tie this game up with about five minutes to play. Now they will kick this one deep to Tyler Anderson. He will get to field this at about the goal line. We are going to try to bring this up to get a big return to maybe spark something on the offense. We'll break that tackle. Anderson to the outside and gets shoved out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. Obviously a massive drive for our true freshman quarterback, Heath Hayes. He comes out in a five-wide set. He'll take the snap and looks a pass. Throwing this one over the middle, caught by McMillan, but it's knocked out of his hands. Second down. We come out in shotgun for the next play. Hayes will drop back to pass. Roll to the outside. He's going to try to take off, but won't have much space and gets brought down for at least a six-yard carry. I thought it was going to be a lot less. Now a massive third down. Overrocker is lined up in the backfield with quarterback Heath Hayes. He will take the snap and looks a pass. Not seeing anyone come open. Rolling out to the outside. And Hayes is going to take off again, and this time will slide to safety, getting the first down. Let's see if we can't count on our running back just a little bit. Overrock in the backfield. Gets the play on the counter. He goes to the outside and will end up with a first down run for a run of 12 yards. Now just about four minutes to play in the game, nearing field goal range. We'll take the snap, we give it to Overrocker, and he will get met and brought down pretty much immediately. No gain on the play. Now on second and ten, back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and looks a pass. Rolling to the outside. We're finally going to throw this one downfield. That one's caught by Bain, who cuts back in, has the first down, all the way down to about the 15-yard line. We are now officially under three minutes to play in the game. We come out in pistol. It'll be another counterplay out to Overrocker, who spins out of safety, and Jack Overrocker gets brought down for a 10-yard gain, setting up a first and goal. Both teams do have all three timeouts here. From shotgun, we'll take the snap. We give it to Overrocker, who goes up the middle, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, South City, with just over two minutes to go. We will take a seven-point lead. With 2-12 to go in the game, they get to start at their own 27-yard line. He will send his tight end in motion. Harris is lined up in the backfield, but Francis will drop back to the pass. Maybe looking to go deep on the first play, throws it over the middle. That's deflected away by Kellen Rice. Now they come out in an eye formation with 2.07 to play. Fer uh, Francis dropping back to pass. I couldn't say his name for a second, but he finds his man for the first down. About an 11-yard gain to Whitehair. They still have all three timeouts, but now we're under two minutes to play. Francis back in shotgun. will drop back. He pump fakes to the outside. Now throws over the middle. Caught by Quinn. He's got the first down into South City territory. A 26-yard reception. A minute 45 to play in regulation. Back in shotgun again. Francis will once again still look to pass. And he's going to throw to the outside. Caught by Harris who was met and brought down for a six yard gain. Still not burned any timeouts. They come out with a five wide set. He is the only one in the backfield. See where Francis tries to go with this one. Changing something on the play. Now he'll drop back to the pass. Standing. Now throwing downfield. He's got his man again inside the 20 for an 11 yard gain. We're going to need someone on defense to make a play here. A minute and five seconds to play. In an eye formation, they're going to hand off to Harris, who goes up the middle, and he'll get met and brought down for a four-yard carry, and they burn their first time out. Now 59 seconds to go in the game. From the 15-yard line, Francis will drop back to pass again. Looking to go downfield, he throws to the outside, caught by his fullback, who's met and brought down to set up a third and four. They would burn their second time out following that play. Now he lines up under center. Francis will drop back to pass, looking to convert on third down. He's lobbing this one downfield, caught by his man, brought down inside the five with 50 seconds to go, and now they're going to run no huddle. They line up in shotgun. Harris is the running back from the three-yard line. That's a false start. That moves it back to be a first and goal from about the eight-yard line. With a five-wide set this time, Francis will drop back again. He's going to the end zone, and he finds his man. Touchdown to David Anderson, and they should tie this game up with 46 seconds to play. 
All right, Tyler Anderson, you had two kick return touchdowns last week. Can you get one today? We're not even going to try to bring this one out. We'll take the touchback. The problem on this drive may end up being the fact that we are going against the win right now to get into field goal range. But from the 25-yard line, Hayes will drop back to pass and will fire this one over the middle. That one will be deflected away, intended for Josh Bain. 42 seconds left in the game now. Hayes out of shotgun again. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one over the middle. Caught by Overrocker, and we will burn our first time out after a six-yard reception. 37 seconds to play. Hayes will take the snap. We're going to roll it to the outside. We'll throw this one on the run. That one will be caught by Anderson, who gets out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. We come back in shotgun for the very next play. Hayes will drop back to pass again. We'll dump this one off underneath the Overrocker. He will have the first down, making people miss. Overrocker breaks that tackle and is brought down to the 35-yard line. We will burn our second time out. Only one timeout remaining now, so we will be a little more selective about it. From the Georgia 35, Hayes will drop back to pass. And we're going to look to go deep downfield. We've got Donald Johnson, and he will get met and fight his way into the end zone from 35 yards out. We will take a seven-point lead with 20 seconds remaining. Being completely honest with you guys, I did not think that was going to get open on the post route. I was looking to get closer for a field goal, but I'm glad with a touchdown. But now on the kick return, can we get to stop Harris? He finally gets met and brought down after a 26-yard return. Now 14 seconds to go here in regulation. They do have one timeout. Francis back in shotgun. Will obviously look to pass here. Looking to go deep downfield. He finally will throw it deep, and that one will be tipped away and almost intercepted by Chris Scott. Now eight seconds remaining. Back in shotgun again. Probably just going to look to go completely deep downfield. Francis will take the snap. And he may have a man open deep down the middle, but he's going to throw to the left side, and that one will be incomplete. And the time has expired. Ed Edwards could have come away with a pick, but South City gets the win 38-31. to This game was definitely a dogfight, and we knew it was going to be like that going in. We started off hot. We kind of cooled down, but we woke up late in the game to pull out the victory over number four, Georgia, and hopefully now we move into the top five. Our Heisman hopeful quarterback finishes 16 for 26, 312 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. That was really my fault for getting way too aggressive. Overrocker ran for 86 yards in a score. So did quarterback Keith Hayes. Receiving-wise, Jack Overrocker, 3 for 32, Adam Watkins, 3 for 80, and Donald Johnson got a touchdown, which ended up winning the game. Then over on defense, Ed Edwards led our team in tackles. In tackles for loss, several people got two. And in sacks, we got two from Jalen Shelley and one from Michael Starks. And we got two interceptions, one from Ed Edwards and one from Jeremy Greer. Georgia's quarterback, Alfred Francis, goes 24 of 35 for 310 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. On the ground, Harris ran for 143 and two scores. Thankfully, we didn't have to face Trey Bell, but obviously we hope he's okay. And then receiving the only ones to catch a touchdown was Pat Quinn and then David Anderson. And in the new college football playoff top 25, we were actually the highest ranked team with a loss. The other three teams above us are all undefeated, but Illinois will play Michigan in this week. And despite a 300 yard and three touchdown performance, quarterback Keith Hayes falls to second on the Heisman watch list, but he's at least still up here. But in the next game, we will get to take on the Arkansas Razorbacks, who are currently 3-5 on the season, and we will take them on in South City.